What's up everyone, Trey Thousand GT here with another video. This time we're looking at the 2004 Retro, the Nike Air Jordan 13 in white and wheat. Now, the leather used on this pair um, was, in my opinion, kind of flimsy. They uh, they tend to crease up very quickly. But um, they fit true to size, so whatever you wear, you know, the new Jordan 13s that's coming out, you could try those on. They fit pretty much the same. Um... The hologram, a little dull compared to the original. Um, this was not an original, it's an original colorway in the sense that it was never released before, but it didn't come out back in 97, 98. So it is an original colorway, but it's not from the original release back in the 90s. So um, the on the originals, the, the hologram on the back was a really br a bright green. These were kind of dull. It's not the same. Um, now, the wheat colorway... When um when I pick these up, they match they match with a lot of stuff because you know like they they're like kind of like the Tims, the Timberlands they the Timberland boots they match with a lot of stuff. I mean it's pretty neutral color. You put put it on with anything and it would match up. The only thing is is that the sh the colorway I don't feel really worked for the shoe. Um, I mean it works in the sense that it it's gonna match up with your stuff and but. It looks more like a casual color, not a, an athletic color like the black and red. Um, even the uh, the flint, the flint, the flint gray look more athletic to me than than this colorway. Um, and the Carolina blue uh, colorway, like I don't know, this was just more of a casual colorway. Um, it, it's it's a good colorway. I mean, if if you collect the Jordan Thirteens and you want every single shoe. It's not a bad colorway to have in your collection. I'm sure you want it to complete your collection, but uh wasn't my favorite. And uh, you know, I wound up getting rid of them. Uh tonight it, it's not horrific, but it's not, you know, the best colorway in the Jordan 13 series, we'll put it that way. Anyhow, prices around I'm i I'm gonna say around one uh fifty to two hundred. And uh, that depends on size and condition. You may find them for a little less. You may find them for a little bit more. But, um, you know, this colorway wasn't the most popular colorway. And uh, that's pretty much it. If, uh, if you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to drop me a line. As always, stay tuned for more videos.